Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, first lecture of this section of overview in this new course Agile HR, Agile Human Resources. So what in this particular overview we will give you a good understanding of uh, what is HR, Agile HR and its successful applications. So in, the, in this particular lecture you will learn about what is Agile HR. So what do you think is Agile HR? So Agile HR is the application of Agile principles and methodologies originally developed for software development to human resources practices. Now the core idea is to make HR more responsive, flexible and focused on delivering value in a fast paced evolving environment. And uh, what does HR, Agile HR do? It promotes uh, continuous learning, uh, collaboration, iteration, and instead of relying on traditional rigid HR processes. So it's agile. You can do things faster, more flexibly in an iterative manner. So what are the key agile principles? What are the agile principles? So there are many. There are 12 of them that originally came from software development, right? Let's look at some of the ones, some of them that are key to HR. So what are the key principles in Agile HR? So there are five that we will talk about here. First, uh, it talks about the one of the key principles to focus on creating a positive employee experience, similar to how Agile focuses on user experience in software development. Second is HR processes like uh, uh, talent acquisition to performance management are broken down to into smaller iterative steps and that allows for constant feedback and improvement constant feedback and improvement then there are cl collaboration where cross-functional teams work closely together reducing silos between HR and other departments right and then Agile HR supports adaptability in policies, enabling HR teams to quickly respond to organizational and workforce changes and challenges. And finally, what we will talk about in this lecture is the continuous feedback loop and data-driven insights that help HR teams make informed decisions. So Agile HR is particularly useful in environments that are dynamic and undergoing transformations as it aligns people's strategy with the fast changing business needs. So let's take a look at some of these key principles, starting with the employee centric approach. Now the employee centric approach focuses on creating a positive employee experience, similar to how Agile focuses on user experience in software development. And there are many things that you can do to foster an employee centric culture, right? From prioritizing uh, employee well being to viewing them as customers, uh, working on uh, their digital experience, asking and acting on feedback, uh, their psychological safety, uh, foster, fostering that, improving your total reward strategy for them, and empowering them to grow. So that's how you can foster an employee centric culture. Then the second thing is the iterative development core to Agile HR. Now HR, HR processes like uh, talent acquisition or performance management are broken down into smaller iterative steps and that allows for constant feedback and improvement. So it's an iterative process model. Then there is collaboration. You have cross-functional team working together, reducing silos between HR and departments within HR and outside HR. So one of the key principles is cross-functional teamwork, working in collaboration. Then there are flexibility and adapt adaptation is one of the principles. Agile HR supports uh, uh, adaptability in policies, enabling HR teams to quickly respond to organizational and workforce changes. So that's it, another element of Agile HR. And uh, lastly, data-driven decisions where you continuously feedback loops and data driven insights uh, help HR teams make informed decisions. So Agile HR is particularly useful in environments, as we said earlier, in that are dynamic and undergoing transformation. 
because it helps align the HR or people strategies with fast changing business needs significantly, significantly better than the traditional HR model. So what do we do next? So we talked about what is Agile HR. So is it only a theoretical concept or has it been adopted by companies, real life companies and have they implemented and what results have they got? That's what we will talk about in the, in the summary form in the next lecture. So thank you so much for watching this first overview lecture on Agile HR. I hope you continue to learn new things, continue to enjoy. And I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture. Please feel free to message me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And do download the PDF file to take a look at anything that you need to.